Hello, my name is Brian Trepanier, and today we'll be adding some curves to a map. We've made a basic box map here, and it's got a player start, a light in it. Light is an ambient light. Make an ambient light, click on the light, letter J, come on down to here, and you can see ambient light right here. This is when it's being used. You would just turn off uh, diffuse and specular. I have it cast shadows, have the brightness about to there. Um, so that's the ambient light, but when we're going to make a uh, curve for the uh, corners. So to do that, draw out a box in the corner here and you can see where it's uh, situated based on the Z axis here so you can draw it so it touches the floor and touches the roof and uh, but we want to work in the XZ view so you would go control tab so you can see that and then come on up to patch and then simple patch mesh this is fine and now what it's done that you can see here where it's now just become a one one surface uh, a planar um, come on back to the top view. It's also moved it down there, so we want to slide it back up on the spot there. Works just like a brush. Going to now come on up in here, come on and around, letter V, uh, manipulate the vertices. Uh, we'll now select these ones and drag them over to that corner. If you had uh, shift selected, you would have just taken the top row, and if you had uh, selected shift, if you had selected that and held shift, you would drag the entire top row. Well, let's uh, move it back here. I'll there you go. Maybe it's just dragging the one. Um, now we want to take this one here and slide it on back over to that point to bend it around, and that's the corner, as you can see. It's now got a curve to it. has no texture on it, so we're going to apply the texture. As you can see now, texture looks a little different to what's beside it, so you would uh, select it again, just shift and select it like you would a brush, and uh, control N naturalizes it, naturali naturalizes the texture. You could also uh, control or uh, shift S would bring up patch properties where you could do the natural uh, part of that for the texture on side the patch. Um, now you want to select the wall behind it and drag it to there and select the wall here and drag it to there because you want to set up another wall behind it that uh, is at the right height and we'll just spacebar to, to uh, copy it and here to spin it over and we'll put it into the spot fits nice right off the bat that's always good now we'll put caulking on it on all sides that's the best thing to do for those. Uh, if we came through, you would see it has what, caulking on it. There it is. Uh, you don't need to have anything textured behind it, behind the patch. Uh, but if you didn't have a wall behind the patch, it would leak. So there's a uh, uh, curve inside your room. So that's for that kind of a curve. What if you wanted one facing the other way? Well, you can duplicate it again, just like a regular. Uh, brush. You can also just click outside of here and stretch those up and down or uh, V do vertices. Uh, so uh, to do the other side to have a, one that faces out that way uh, let's just copy it and there it is except for the fact that the textures on these things only appear on one side so there you can see it's got the texture on that side nothing on the other side so to make it appear on the other side, you just go Control i and there you have a texture on the uh, facing you the right way. Uh, we'll slide that over into this corner, fit it in there, looks good. And uh, same deal, we'll just slide this to match up there. Escape, Shift, slide that to match there. Now we'll come on over to here and select these two, copy them, a couple of these. Let's see, let's turn it around and we'll uh, insert button to to uh, zoom down and uh, now we could move that like that, escape here, select just this one here and we'll slide that like that and move it to there and those already have the, uh, the uh, caulking on it. So that is uh, well, no, that's not it. What you want to do now with this one here is one final step is select it and uh, control N to naturalize the texture. And once that's done, you're done. So, some the outside one, bump into it, 
Again, you want to fine tune the texture or pick better textures because these aren't really textures you would even normally see bending like that. But uh, there you go. And that brings you to the end of this tutorial.